hello everyone welcome to my channel today i am again over here with some revit uh, tutorials and cool tricks so this is something it's very unique to revit um it's a, actually a revit family so this is a space planning tool revit has uh, I have used this in, this is actually my thesis project, um, I have used this in my project for space planning uh, things because I needed to reconfigure, redo my space planning of this school and I wanted that my classrooms, the number of classrooms, the square footage should be exactly same as the initial space planning. So this is a really, really amazing tool if you are trying, if you are aiming for uh, doing a space plan in Revit, okay? So uh, before that, I just wanted to show you that this is the actually the tool. It's actually like a family. Um, before and uh, before I show you what to how it's done, what it is, uh, what what it does, I will just uh, take a moment to just show you who from where did I get it. So this template or space planning tool uh, family was made actually by this architect named Sam. Um, he actually developed this. You can get the uh, space planning tools for free from here. I will link this uh, uh, website in the bio below in the description of this video okay so you can get this in the in the form of a google drive you will get it over here okay so it was developed by him so what it does is let's see that this is a classroom and if you increase the boundary of this if you see it's it's automatically adjusting the square footage of the area and the width and depth and everything okay so this is the main um, uh, speciality of this tool. So for example, that uh, this is a classroom, its square footage is 415, 449, 549, I'm sorry, 549 on this plan. I want to create the same square footage of uh, the classroom in a different point of this plan, but it should be different shape, okay? So let's say I will just select this and select the tag as well and i will just control alt and copy it somewhere else okay and uh, if you see i am just increasing this it's now eight zero c and if i want eight four five four nine i would just so now it's five four seven i would just increase a bit maybe from here if i increase or just decrease a bit okay now it's 549 so as you can see this classroom and this one are the same area same square footage but it's just a different shape so like this you can create any kind of space planning let's say you want to create a cluster of offices and everything you can do that so how it's done let's talk about that so once you download the tools um you will get something like this so, so there is a rectangle tool there is an l shape tool and there is the tag which is um, uh, associated with the associated with this this comes a, as a separate one so uh, i will just show you how this works so let's say i am opening the rectangle one first uh, it's it's 2013 one because uh, that's what you get from the um, from Sam. So this is the whole um, the, te the the space planning tool. It's you do not need to change anything. You don't need to change anything. Just keep it as it is, and you can just load it into the project. So uh, this was this is one of the new project I have just uh, added. So I will just say project one. And I'm just going to place it over somewhere over here okay and now I need to uh, I need to upload the tag over here so I'll just go again and just say the tool tag again you do not need to change anything over here okay and you just say load to project and you can just say 
it over here so this is now associated with this box um you can now okay so i will just press escape so you can now just increase decrease it you can also um uh, uh, move this so you can just move it whether you want it in the corner or in the middle I personally like it in the middle and now you can use it so if you want to do multiple copies you can just select this press control control and then press this and then control alt you can just copy okay if you just copy this um, box by the way if you just copy this let's say i'm just copying here you do not get the tag so in this case you need to um, copy uh, by like control and c you need to press control c and copy and then come here and control and v over here okay so now this is associated with this okay so control if you are doing it separately control c control v over here that's it and it will be associated with this box um uh, for spaces which is not rectangle there is the l shape it's the same um but in an l shape okay so i will just show you that also um again don't change anything and i will just uh, do it in the project over here uh, in L shape you can increase this you can increase this over here here so this is giving you some flexibility in creating the other shaped um, spaces okay and again for the uh, tag it's the same just put it over here and this is the um square footage of this space if you see just check it i can just check it over here so this is how we can use this so uh, you can name it okay um like how i named it um so it's 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 the the, the names are not here like um, you can create the room name so you can also put a room name over here okay same thing like i did like canteen and indoor playground courtyard uh, so i have um, edited the spaces over here okay so this is really good um, way of uh, doing a space planning now if i want to just uh, randomly you know um, move it around i can just do that and i can create new spaces in new times and yeah that's it so i hope this is helpful for you and um, i'm just going to leave the link of uh, sam's uh, spacing tool in the description below and we'll see you next time with some new different cool um, Revit videos. Until then, bye. Take care. Bye.